This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha Rakakodash, Brakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the news and our truthfulness and sincerity. You so called Negroes, you so called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquafian, which are the women who believe upon the name of the Lord, the sisters. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord. Okay, so I'm uh, back with uh, uh, another lesson, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. And what this lesson is going to be about is out of many, one of the two will... One of, one of the major themes that is in the Bible, all right, uh, is pride, all right? The, the scriptures deal with pride. It talks about pride. It talks about how the pride of Esau's heart has deceived him, all right? It talks about, we're going to grab scriptures on us, you know, not being prideful, all right? Keeping, our, keeping that in check, all right? The two, like... Pride and humility are two major uh, themes in the scriptures. All right. So with that, I read Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 23. All right. Let's read it one more time. Then we're going to grab other precepts. Uh, a man's pride shall bring him low. See your, your pride because the heavenly father, he hates pride. All right. In the, in this uh, same book, in chapter uh, 16, it tells you that the Heavenly Father does not like pride. All right. It says, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Yeah, those who are humble. All right. It says in spirit. That's right. So with that, let's go here. Let's grab another uh, precept. This is going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and verse 11. And it reads, the lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. That's right, because see, men think that they are in control. Men think that they are running things, all right? But the Heavenly Father, he's going to put all that haughtiness, all right, that the lofty looks. These people have uh, prideful looks. You you can't uh, tell them anything about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. We go out to camp. People walk by the camp with this prideful look. But guess what? The Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is going to take all that away. Okay, let's get that again. Isaiah chapter 2 and 11. The lofty looks of men shall be humbled, and the heartiness of men shall be bowed down. And the Lord Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. That's right. In, in the end, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to be exalted. All right. And he got these people so prideful that they're rock, they're basically how, how you say it. They're rocked to sleep. All right. They're, like the scripture says, they sleep. All right. They're sleeping on the Heavenly Father. And that's going to make it also more uh, powerful. When the Lord does humble these people, because they're not going to see it coming. They're not going to expect it coming. Verse 12. For the day of the Lord, uh, Yahweh of hosts of armies shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low. All right. So, yeah, the Heavenly Father is going to bring the prideful low. And that includes that's for any and everybody, myself included. That's why we got to uh, keep that pride in check. When you feel that pride demon creeping up, you got to put it in check. All right. And it's going to it's always trying to creep up on you. Let's go here. This is going to be the book. I like to call it good old James. 
All right, James chapter 4 and verse 6. And it reads, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, Yahweh resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. That's right. The Lord will resist you if you're prideful. All right. Uh, he's resisting a lot of people, right? In and out of the knowledge of this truth. All right. The Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, isn't with that being a prideful person. Okay. Let's go here to the book of 2nd Ezra in the Apocrypha. Uh, chapter uh, 15, and we'll grab verse 18. All right. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right. What do you hear Esau say all the time? I'm proud to be an American. And the, 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 whatever that song, how that song goes. <laughs> the Lord finna take all that where you're going to be ashamed. To be an American in that day. All right. You got people ashamed to be Americans now. All right. They admit it. People watch YouTube and all the other social media sites. People would say they're not proud to be an American no more. All right. But the Lord, yeah, he's going to uh, get rid of all that. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Right. A proud man ain't supposed to be afraid. Okay? You proud. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right. All that pride gonna get taken away because you, you ain't... Uh, wait, wait, what, wait, what this says here? Destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Take their stuff because of lack of bread. A famine and for great tribulation, and you ain't no time to be prideful when all that's going on. The Lord gonna get rid of that pride. All right, let's go here. We'll grab this scripture, we'll close out with this one. This is gonna be the book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 9. And it reads, Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such a one set of his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. Right. Why is earth and ashes proud? Why? Okay. It's no, there's no reason, all right, to be proud. Who's the, who has the most pride? Esau, Edom. And it says there's no, not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Esau is the most cov proudest man and the most covetous man. All right, upon the face of the earth. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I'm going to say, call her like la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakradash, Rakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who who, well, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all you, Akim. Across the four corners of the globe that are out here preaching this gospel with. Which is the good news, excuse me, in all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.